Welcome everyone to Gamer Melt. Today I've got a bunch of stories, starting with the PS5 controller reveal, Intel's 10th gen is a giant power drain, refreshed NVIDIA GPUs, and two new AMD CPUs spotted. But first, check out today's sponsor, Drop. Formerly known as MassDrop, a group buy website with amazing deals on PC hardware. It's free to sign up, and if you do it today, you'll get $20 off your first Drop made items. So head to the link in the description below. Okay, it's news time, and first up for today, Sony has officially unveiled their PlayStation 5 controller. It's called the DualSense controller, and it does add a few things. For one, they've added haptic feedback, which lets you feel more of what you're playing. Sony gave the example of, quote, slow grittiness of driving a car through mud. Of course, time will tell if devs will actually use it. The controller also comes with adaptive triggers, which can apparently add tension to your trigger pulls, depending on what you're doing in the game. One really interesting addition in my opinion is that it adds a built-in microphone, so everyone has the ability to talk in-game, even without a headset. Hopefully that's tap to talk though, or we'll be hearing a lot of throat clearing in our games next gen. The new controller does still include a light bar, the big touchpad in the middle, and thankfully, a headphone jack. Which means they didn't take cues from Apple. Thank you. Finally is a pretty drastic departure in design, with this two-tone look that honestly looks like it's made for an Alienware laptop. Of course, design is subjective, so it's really up to you as to whether you like it or not. Next up for today, Intel's upcoming 10 gen processors could have a serious issue. Power draw. The story originally comes from the Twitter user HXL, who, as you can see, was able to get a hold of an i9-10900F, which is Intel's upcoming 10-core 20-thread CPU, but without their integrated GPU. Either way, you can see that HW Info recorded the processor pulling some insane power. In fact, he claims it pulls in around 224 watts. What makes that so much is that it's nearly double the power draw of AMD's 16-core Ryzen 9 3950X. In fact, that's as much as the TDP of NVIDIA's RTX 2080. And yes, I know TDP isn't power draw, but it's a good indication of it. And yes, I've actually done a similar story a few months back, but seeing it this high even now and on the non-K model is really indicative of what to expect. Basically, you're going to need some serious cooling to keep this thing from catching fire. Next up for today, if you didn't see my recent video, NVIDIA released a new GTX 1650 non-super variant with GDDR6 memory instead of GDDR5. Now, if you remember earlier this month, NVIDIA released their newest super cards on mobile. Well, apparently they also refreshed some of their non-super cards as well, but no one really took notice. According to a post by a representative of XMG in the computer-based forum, NVIDIA actually released an updated RTX 2060 and 2070. What's interesting here is that they updated it with low-voltage GDDR6 from their Super lineup, and according to the XMG rep, this allows the refreshed cards to gain, quote, significant margins with the same power consumption. The RTX 2070 ends up keeping the same 115 watt TDP while the 2060 does move from 90 to 115 watts. This means we should expect higher clocks, and apparently benchmarks are expected to make their public debut on April 15th. Let's just say I'll never complain about free performance. Lastly for today, it looks like AMD may be releasing two new CPUs along with the new C designation. Originally reported by Notebook Check, you can see they found a couple new benchmarks for Ryzen 7 3700C and Ryzen 3 3250C. Now, this could be an April Fool's joke since they were benchmarked on April 1st, but I honestly doubt it. The processors were benchmarked on a Google Zork, which is a code name that's been mentioned in the past for a Google Chromebook. Unfortunately, we don't know too much about it, but given the 3700C is a 4-core 8-thread APU, the C is suspected to stand for convertible, with Google Zork being an upcoming 2-in-1 Chromebook. As always, time will sell. So while that does it for today, what did you think of the news? Is Intel's 10th gen going to be really hot? And what do you think of those C processors? Let me know down in the comments below. And if you like the video, please subscribe. And as always, have a great day.